The eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be working out of is from Morphe. It's the 12Z palette. It's a smaller one, and I'm going to show you the colors. These colors are really vibrant. I have to say that this right here, this color, is very much so a dupe for Max. Um, is it Club? Hold on. Uh, I believe it's called Club, and it's a satin from MAC, but it's very similar to that. A lot of these colors are very similar to MAC's eyeshadows, uh, which is why I purchased it. So this right here is $14.99 for all these colors. As you guys know, MAC is around $13. So just giving you guys a heads up, but the color I'm going to use is this one right here. And I'm going to swatch it out for you guys. Just to make it pop a little bit more, I am going to do the technique where you use setting spray or water. And this is the color, if you guys can see. So starting off, I am going to prime my eyes using Max Paint Pot Soft Okra, which is still going well. It hasn't dried out. So you want to spread out your <laughs> Oh, okay you want to spread out the color nice and evenly and I'm gonna go with a buffering brush also from Morphe and just spread out the color even more so it's a nice thin layer now using my Morphe M335 brush I'm just going to buffer out mostly the edges of the primer or base whatever you'd like to call it All right as usual starting off with the transition color so I'm gonna use two transition colors the first one I'm gonna use is this one right here let me grab my smaller mirror and that's also for Mac but any matte brown transition color is gonna work if you have the 252 palette from coastal scents that is going to work any brown from there that you're comfortable with is going to work so just going in the crease a little bit above the brow bone so the reason why I said this look is for beginners is because it's very simple just using the transition color and the vibrant color and just playing with those two only and the reason why I wanted to do a beginner look is because sometimes you know I do multiple colors there's tons of blending involved there's cut creases it's just a lot so if you're just getting into this whole makeup game I wanted to do something that was a little simple and quick for everyone really all right the transition color is done so before I do my second uh, transition color which is going to define my crease even more you don't have to do a second transition color to define your crease, but it's just my personal preference. But I'm going to move on to the Morphe palette, the 12Z, and picking up this color. These colors don't have names, but the palette is 12Z. I'm using a fluffy flat brush once I find it. And is this, yeah. I'm going to pick up the color and then spraying it with setting spray. You can use my setting, you can use any setting spray that you like, or you can just use water. Just anything to kind of dampen the brush once you have put your eyeshadow on there. And you're just going to tap the color on your lid, your bottom lid. And it's okay if it gets a little bit onto your transition color. And the reason why, if you guys ever missed why I like to do that, is it just makes the color pop more, especially like metallic eyeshadows. It makes it even more vibrant. I already have lash extensions on. I've been wearing individual lashes for the past couple weeks. So it can get a little bit difficult to get very close to the lash line. Um, but if you ever have that issue, if you wear dual lashes, you just tip your brush upside down like this. 
So you have two options at this point. You can either stop right here and move on to your eyeliner, or you can go back with the same color and just define the crease even more if you'd like with the smaller brushes. So if you do decide to go back in with the same color you use for your transition color and just define it a little bit more, use a smaller blending brush so that you can control exactly where you're placing that color. And I'm gonna focus this just in the crease. Um, going on the outer corner and just blending it. But you don't have to if you don't want to, but I like to just kind of marry that transition color in the outer corner. So since this is a beginner look, I am not going to do a wing liner. I'm just gonna do a basic liner. However, for my eye type, because I have large eyes, I like to start small and gradually allow the line to get thicker, but because I'm not doing a wing liner, because that's the same step for a wing liner, I am going to stop it right here at the outer corner. But again, when you're doing that, you definitely want to make sure that you don't stop or drag the eye down. So when I say you don't want to drag the eye down, let me bring this. You don't want to, when you're drawing your line, you don't really want to follow the shape of the eye and bring that eyeliner down. Because what that does is it gives you like sleepy eyes or droopy eyes. Even though that is the shape of your eyes, you definitely want to still bring that eyeliner up, even if you're stopping right here. So I'm going to demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about. And I still always start from the center. And when I'm getting to the outer corner, see if I can turn so you guys can see. I'm stopping. Oh my gosh, this lash is about to fall off. And just making sure that it kind of raises up. Now, I guess it's kind of like a baby wing liner. So what I'm doing is I'm using out of the same palette. Wait, let me make sure it's not shimmery before I say that. Yeah, it's not. Okay, so out of the same palette, I'm just going to take this black, which honestly does not look like a true black. It looks more like a grayish black. Yeah, it's more like a grayish black. It's not a true black. It's not like Max Carbon. But anyway, I'm going to take an angle brush and just put an eyeliner, eyeliner, put eyeshadow on the eyeliner. And why I'm doing that is I'm just smudging it out a bit because I didn't want a harsh line. All right, so using a flat blush brush, I'm just gonna do circular motions. Last but not least, it is time for the highlight. I'm using Most Necessary from ColourPop. I'm using a fan brush from Morphe M310. High point of the cheeks. That is the gist of the makeup look. My nude lips are going to be Max Honey Love with a chestnut lip liner and see-through. So that is my go-to nude lip. Sometimes I'll adjust with cork lip liner or chestnut lip liner. I go back and forth between the two. Um, this look is very simple, but it looks like you've spent a lot of time on it, so that's why I named it a beginner look. It's a new way to try out color. I am absolutely in love with this palette from Morphe, so I'm going to do another look with this palette next week um, and a different technique that's going to be more like the spotlight technique that I showed you guys a long time ago. Um, but these colors are just very pretty. I'll probably swatch them out and post it on my Instagram. My final look will also be on Instagram, so be sure to check that out. Instagram or Facebook, if you're not following me, please do. And then this video will be edited and condensed to a smaller video so that you guys can go back and refresh you know, yourselves if you want to try this technique. And that is posted on my YouTube channel. My name is Deandra Giselle on all social media, and I think that's pretty much it. I think that's all. You guys, I will be here every Wednesday, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so please tell your friends, share. I really want to, um, you know, just get everyone involved and teach everyone new stuff. Also, if there's any looks that you may want to see, 
you can always send me a picture and email them to me at deandragiselle at gmail.com because, um, you know, sometimes I run out of ideas and I want to know what you guys want to see. So be sure to email me if you or tag me in a picture on Instagram or Facebook, whatever. I just want to know what you guys want to learn. So you beauties have a wonderful rest of your week. Enjoy. Enjoy your week. And I will catch you guys next week, Wednesday, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bye, beauties.